Good morning, everyone. Happy Groundhog Day, because it is February 2nd. I don't know. I don't know if it's happened or not, but I'm thinking there's going to be more winter. Just a guess. We'll see what happens. Well, today in our daily de devotion, we're going to kick off a little bit from yesterday. Um, if you remember yesterday, we talked about uh, Jesus talking about eating of his flesh and his blood, which shocked a lot of, of the people. And we're going to hear the aftermath of that. And so we're going to read chapter 6, uh, verse um, 60 uh, through 66. On hearing it, many of the disciples said, This is hard teaching. Who can accept it? Aware that his disciples were grumbling about this, Jesus said to them, Does this offend you? Then what if you see the Son of Man ascend that where he was before? The Spirit gives life, the flesh counts for nothing. The words I have spoken to you, they are full of the Spirit of life. Yet there are some of you who do not believe. For Jesus had known from the beginning which of them did not believe and who would betray him. He went on to say, This is why I told you that no one can come to me unless the Father has enabled them. From this time, many of his disciples turned back and no longer followed him. So, we see Jesus shocking the people yesterday, disciples even, and really made people take a step back and see, am I really wanting to get on board with this Jesus guy? And today we see a lot didn't. This passage to me is one of the most important. It's not one of my favorites. I say I have favorite scriptures a lot. I'm not going to go that far with this one, but I do think it's a really important one. Because basically what it is saying is, Jesus' teachings are hard. And there are going to be a lot of times that we are not going to want to hear it. Even to the point where we're going to want to walk away. Why is this important? Well, because a lot of the world doesn't teach this. A lot of Christianity doesn't teach that Jesus' teachings are hard. They say it's easy, it's great, it's wonderful. You know, if you keep doing what you're doing, you're fine. But Jesus' teachings are really hard. They are hard for us to hear, and they are even harder for us to follow. Yeah, the you know, he's doing this in regards to the eating of flesh and drinking of blood, which again, we know is now uh, communion. But what about if we look at it on some of his other teachings? Some of his other teachings that at first don't seem all that hard at all, and then we actually find out what they are. Like loving God with our whole heart, soul, and mind. If we love God that way, it means we're not loving ourselves with our whole heart, soul, and mind, which is what we usually do. And then heaven forbid if we hear the teaching of loving our neighbor, when we hear that our neighbor is like the Good Samaritan who is, you know, not somebody who we want to be with and we're supposed to love them not judge them not hate them not actively work against them and then when we hear jesus's command to love one another as he has loved us holy moly do you know how hard that is <laughs> i don't think i can even love my wife and my kids and my parents, the way Jesus has loved me. And these are the people who I love more than anyone on this earth. And that's not what Jesus said. Jesus said, I have to love everybody that way. These are incredibly hard teachings. They are not easy. And honestly, there's a part of me that is like, I don't even want to deal with it. I'll go off. I'll live my selfish life. I will care about myself. I will buy the things I want to buy. I will uh, try to gain power and comfort and just live for me.
but I feel, I know, that I'm one of the ones that God has called. That God has called me and given me to Jesus Christ. And so, the hard teachings, I can live with. And I realize that there is joy and that there is, that the hard teachings are not for God. That's what we forget a lot of times. We, we think that these hard teachings are, are for God, but they're not. They're for us. When we live the way God wants us to live, it doesn't make God's life better. God is God. God is perfect. God is in heaven well, and on earth. And yes, God prefers us to do good things, but God's not going to be like diminished because we don't follow Jesus's teachings. But our lives will. Our lives will be much more empty, uh, much less joy, and honestly, much less happiness. But when we follow the hard teachings, we start to see the joy and we start to understand more of God's love. And every time that happens, our lives are increased. Our lives are better. So we have Jesus teaching hard teachings. And we have the at times desire to just not even deal with it. But my life is better because I celebrate communion. My life is better because I love when it's hard. My life is better because I know God loves me and because I am God's. And I pray that you have that knowledge too, because I know you are the people that God has called and given you to Jesus Christ. So I ask and I beg and I pray that you bear with Jesus through the hard teachings because your life really will be better. Let us pray. Holy Lord, you never said this journey of being your disciple would be easy. In fact, just the opposite. You said it's going to be hard from start to finish. But Lord, you have given us so much good and our lives are better because of how hard it is. We give you thanks and we give you praise and we ask that you be our strength when things are hard and a comfort when we need it. We ask this in your holy name, amen.